and then you go. Hi, I'm Miss Deb. Hi, I'm G. And, and we're, we're the, the Watching, Watching Dead. Dead. So, season three, mid-season. 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 Oh. A bunch of stuff happened. Oh, yeah, a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> okay, stuff happened, and then some things happened at the end. Yep. So, there's our recap. Holler. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. No, let's see. At the beginning of season three, they were, what, between two and three, they... Wandered. Oh, God, they were nomadic, weren't they? Yeah. They in the blank. Yeah. They were just wandering around, place Did to I get place. an A? Yes. Sweet! You All get right. an A++. Plus plus. Oh, badass. Yeah. Um, First episode of season three, they find the prison. Yes. Which is awesome. Yes. And, and not, like, being out in the middle of everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got some stuff you got to do to to get it ready, but... You know, then you're good for yeah. a little while. You gotta maintain. <laughs> totally. <laughs> you gotta represent. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um. Well, they found the prison. They clear it. Mm -hmm. Um. And during season three A, we lose a couple of people. We do. We lose T Dog, and that's very sad. Yes, it is. But we lose Lori, which is awesome. It's not so sad. Yeah. <laughs> She finally dies, but she she haunts us for a little while. She does. She, yeah. And that's so not cool. But we also see that season 3A is kind of all about reestablishing stability, reestablishing order, trying to return to a state of normalcy. Right, right. Uh, and we see two kind of two different, um, like the, there's the Woodbury way. Yeah, there's the, wood and there's the prison way. Yeah. <laughs> and both of them are equally wrong. Mm. Because there's the tree fort way. Oh, yes. Yes. I found out today that there's going to be a moat. It's going to be more than just a moat, sweetie. But, see, Woodbury is it's run by the governor. Uh -huh. And it's very much about outward appearances mm -hmm. it's um they're trying to return to the status quo ante which for those of you who didn't take eight years of latin means the way things were before yeah. and rick's group takes a, a <coughs> completely different approach he's like this is the new normal yeah so <clears throat> he doesn't care that they're in a prison right you know, to him, it's simply a structure that is safe, it's stable, it's got all of the defensive features that they need to start out with. Of course, it needs to be reinforced, and there are some problems with the prison. But overall, Rick and his group don't really care so much about the outward appearance, whereas the governor and Woodbury are completely about outward appearances. Yes. <sighs> Um, I'm trying to find, um, in addition to the people that we lost, mm -hmm. we pick up Axel, mm -hmm. and we pick up Oscar. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I love those two. They're awesome. Yeah. They're, they're good, good, I mean. Yeah. Out of the five who were in the prison, yeah. there were three of them who were good. We lose one, big tiny. Sorry about your mom's, oh, dude. Oh, man. But we pick up Oscar and Axel, who wind up being good guys. And in Woodbury, we see the return of a face that we weren't certain we were ever going to see again. Merle. Merle. Yes. And we get Milton, too. Oh, yeah. And Milton, <laughs> Milton is great. We also see Andrea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we find out more about, you know, the mysterious hooded woods woman from the end of season two, Michonne. She's awesome. Yeah, she's badass. <laughs> um, though she is a bit feral at this point. Mm -hmm. But given what we learn about her as the series progresses, we can kind of understand how she arrived at this point. Mm -hmm. um, anyway... Uh, the first part of season three really is all about establishing a norm. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And we see 
two vastly different approaches. We see two vastly different styles of leadership. Mm -hmm. um, and we and we see two very different ways of bringing people into an established group. Right, right. Uh, there's the Woodbury Way, and then there's the Prison Way. What is the Woodbury Way exactly? Uh, the Woodbury Way is um, to bring in people one by one from way outside and to keep them clueless. The Woodbury Way is not really to go out and actively recruit or to make use of whoever you stumble across. Right, yeah. Uh, whereas, because, you know, they go out and they, they slaughter the National Guard. Yes. They kill a bunch of people. And the people, <clears throat> the people that are, like, okay, the prison gang, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, what, ten of them? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, starting out. Um... There are things, like, there are things that they have to do. Mm -hmm. Each individual person has responsibilities. Mm -hmm. The Woodbury people, you know, they're just chilling. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, some of them have. Granted, the people in Woodbury, there are more of them. Yes, right. And the larger a group is, the more people can relax, the right. more leisure you have. Yeah. But, but it just seems like there's a lot of leisure. Yeah. There's uh, there's just way too much. Again, Woodbury is very much trying to go back to the status quo ante. Right. And you you can't go back. I mean, yeah, it's a trite, cliche saying saying you can never go home again, but it is the truth. Yeah. Anyway, but we see a lot more about that, especially through season three B, mm -hmm. and we also see some of it in season four. Yeah. And we will get to that as we get to it. Yeah. But this kind of wraps it up for the season three mid-season. We are left on the cliffhanger of the Dixon brothers are finally back together. Yeah. But are like, they going to be... Not a cool way. Yeah. They're pitted against each other. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of interesting, the parallels, especially with this series being set in the South and Dixie. Yeah. And, yeah, their last name being Dixon. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> If if that doesn't make you think of the Civil War, I just, I don't know what else to tell you other than to break out the Guns and Roses and start doing my Axl Rose impression. Yeah, Axl! Which is awesome. <laughs> anyway, that does wrap it up for the Season 3 mid-season. Right. So, for now I'm G. I'm Miss O. And, and we're, we're the, the Watching, Watching Dead. Dead.